Oh my God, does all this real estate market information coming at you leave you confused and bewildered about what it means or how it affects you? Oh my God, me too. No, no, just kidding. I'm gonna break down the data and show you how it affects you as a buyer or seller. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Stefan Bouchard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor here in the Greater Palm Springs region. I record and post content here about the local market and the desert lifestyle because I love what I do. And more importantly, I believe that real estate should be fun and easy. You're here for the market update, but you aren't quite sure how the data affects you. Great! I'm going to break it down for you. So let's get to it. Median prices. The valley currently for single family homes is 649,000, which is 5.5% above last year. Condos is 450,000, up 15.5% over last year. Now those numbers are valley wide. You can find them on the chart I send out every month where there are breakdowns for each of the cities. I call that my market at a glance. This detailed information is important because it gives us an idea of where prices are and which direction prices are going in any particular city. If you need more detailed information about a neighborhood or a subdivision, that's information that's easy for me to grab and provide for you. I make it a point of staying on top of this information every month. It's easier for me to do because I'm a big old nerd and I love data. Months of supply. For the Valley, it currently stands at 2.8 months. What does this mean? What this means, if no new homes are added for sale, then we only have 2.8 months worth of inventory to sell at the current sales tempo. This is also known as the attrition rate. How this affects sellers and buyers is it gives us an idea how quick homes are selling. The higher the demand, the lower these numbers will be, depending on inventory. I'll get to inventory numbers later. Days on market. This means the average time on market for any particular home valley-wide. This number may be higher or lower depending on any particular city or subdivision. Currently, our average days on market is 35 days, which is up 34% above a year ago. How this affects sellers is it gives you an idea just about how long it may take to sell your home. Each city is also broken down in the full report and there's averages there. For buyers, it gives you an idea how long most homes may be on the market. So if a home has been sitting on the market longer than this, it may mean that the seller is willing to negotiate. You never know unless you try. Now we're getting the inventory. Inventory is the number of properties that are available for sale in the current month. Our current inventory stands at 2,140 properties, which is up 188% over last year. 188%. Wow, that's more than double. This number means absolutely nothing without observing the trends over time. The 188% figure is a measure of the increase or decrease over the past year. As we look over the past, this number is about 300 units above what it was in November 2020 and about 1,000 units short from what it was in November of 2019. Observing this over time, you can see how this inventory number has been decreasing steadily since 2017. This shows an increase in demand and the resulting market activity. You can also see before 2020 the seasonal ups and downs that were normal in a market. Notice the distinct departure from the seasonal up and down in early 2020. That's when the pandemic happened and you can see the result on our inventory due to that high demand. Even before the pandemic we were seeing an increase in demand for desert properties. All the pandemic did was escalate this demand which as you can see, very quickly eroded our inventory to almost zippity doo dah nothing. Earlier this year, we had about 600 properties for sale. Wow, that was low. Now we're seeing just above 2100, which means we're seeing some return to normalcy in a market, some return. Next, we have sales volume or otherwise known as average unit sales. This is the actual unit sale activity that happens from month to month. For the Greater Palm Springs region, this is broken down into two groups, a three-month average and a 12-month average. Why do we do this? Because of our seasonality, which affects the real estate activity here. For the three-month average, we currently have a combined total of 474 homes sold. Notice how the graph jumps up and down as it follows our seasonal pattern. Before COVID, you can see how it was pretty regular as far as the seasonal pattern. Before COVID, our three-month average was usually in the 700 range. During the COVID rush, it shot up to over a thousand units per month and it got as high as 1300 units. Wow, that's like double what we're used to. Now, here we are at 474 units, which is below our past pre-pandemic sale numbers. The main reason this is down is slower demand due to rising inflation and interest rates. The 12 month moving average removes seasonality and gives us an idea of how the homes are selling from year to year. You will notice in this graph that there are no seasonal ups and downs. However, you can see how it shot up during COVID and now is slowly getting back down to what we would consider some sense of normal activity. You can see the relative stability in the three years prior to COVID on this graph and how it is slowly returning to what it was previously. 
Looking at the 12 month average, we have returned to our normal sales activity, but because of the slowdown in the market, it is predicted to decline a little bit more. How this affects buyers and sellers is that it shows exactly how many homes are selling in the desert from month to month. Higher sales and lower inventory will push prices higher. Lower demand and increased inventory, like we have now, will cause prices to soften. Selling above list price. This statistic gives us an idea of how many homes are selling above list price. These figures clearly show demand, but more importantly, the level of competition for properties. You can see on the graph that last year, more than 50% of the homes were selling above list price. Wow! During this period, we saw multiple, multiple offers on homes that were being sold. Homes could not be added to the market fast enough to replace the sold inventory. This created a shortage of supply. So with the high demand and the low inventory, buyers were bidding over list price in order to compete and win in a bidding war. So for sellers, this is a great situation. Homes sell faster and most likely sell for more than the list price, aka a seller's market. For buyers, it tells you how much competition you face to purchase a property. If you have a good realtor, they will know how to structure the offer to make the buyer look attractive. Highest price and cash do not always win. Just saying. Ta-da! Now you understand this a bit more, and more importantly, how it affects you as a buyer or seller. Now you can make more informed decisions with confidence. My summary is that the numbers show a slow return to pre-COVID activity. Our inventory is still down by about 1,000 to 1,200 units from pre-pandemic levels. However, other figures are looking a little bit more what we would consider normal. The low unit sales are returned to pre-pandemic seasonal patterns coupled with higher interest rates and inflation. The repercussion of the higher interest rates is that it has slowed down our market activity significantly. We are still not forecasting a crash or major correction to prices in the desert. We will most likely see a dip in prices, but not a crash like we did back in 2010 and 2011. I'd love to speak with you one-on-one -on -one. if you have any questions about this information or you're considering buying or selling here. Just click the contact link in the description. I promise there's no cost or obligation. Now, check out this cool video about the birth of the Bowtie Realtor. Bye! Observing this observe <laughs> three month average and a 12 month average. I don't have 12 fingers, so that was stupid. <laughs> and selling above list price. 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 Selling.